I wonder how many young women would have the strength to do what you recommend. Well, I don't think many of them would do it because, first of all, do they know who they are? If these women are carrying a lot of trauma from their childhood in their whole life, but they never fix it, so more likely they're not going to change or would listen to me. You have to realize that many of us Filipinos in the Philippines, especially growing up, experience a lot of verbal abuse and physical abuse. So a lot of us has been conditioned to be the person we are not and making us believe that, hey, you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. If you don't do this, then you're going to get in trouble. And that is why for us, we planted something in our heart and mind that, oh my God, yeah, I better do this because if I don't do this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in trouble. And unfortunately, I experienced a lot of adversity growing up, not just from my parents, not just from school, not just from my neighbors, but life in general. And I never understand why I keep attracting negative things in my life. So my story was, since I had a lot of trauma, I had a lot of hurt, I had a lot of suffering, I questioned the world. I questioned everything. Why are people so mean and, and kind? Why can't they be good to me and to other people? And eventually or gradually, the more I ask, the more I get answer because I research. I need to find the answer. I need to know why. So I encourage myself how to fix my trauma, how to fix my pain and suffering. There was always a voice inside my head saying, if you don't fix your trauma, you're going to continue experiencing a lot of negative things in your life and a lot of suffering in your life. You will encounter a lot of negative people in your life. You will encounter a lot of people who's going to hurt you. So I said to myself, no, I don't want that. So I asked my guide in my head, like, please help me find the way, help me find the answer. So there was a point in my life that I was in a super dark place. It was really hard for me because... I was alone. I survived. I challenged it myself. And I saw this light. And basically, I just keep following the light. If you follow this light, you will end up curing your trauma. If you find that light, meaning find yourself who you truly are, that means you're going to be happy. You're going to experience less suffering and pain. So eventually, I figured out who I am. And I realized, ah, now I know why people were abusive to me. Now I know why I was treated like that or that way. And that is why all those trauma and suffering that I've experienced in my whole life made me a better person and it made me a strong person. And if a lot of women or a lot of Filipina experience the same experience as me, and if they want to have the strength to finally own themselves, then it's going to take a long time for them to change who they are because it's not that easy. Training yourself to have the power and strength to be who you truly are can take a lot of years to do it. Until now, I'm still in the process of healing myself and will continue to heal myself until the end of my breath. Because the more I challenge myself, the more I feel super happy and able to attract a lot of positive people in my life. And whatever I did, it made me super strong that I don't allow abusive people to come into my life. No, 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 no. I don't accept that anymore. You're either my family, friends, or if you're my partner, I won't allow you to abuse me. If you do that, bye-bye. So will these ladies want to challenge themselves? Then that's the question, right? Because challenging yourself is really hard at first. But the moment that you realize, oh, you're already in the middle, you can never stop challenging yourself.